Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is Friday which means it is grocery haul day and I'm going to share my Aldi haul with you guys. So this is going to be a little bit different. I normally share everything that I'm getting for that week all in one haul with my meal plan and this week I decided that I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. I haven't been there in a while. It is a favorite of mine and we need some quick meals and so I tend to go to Trader Joe's when I need some quick meals. So I'm gonna do that this weekend and in that video I will share my haul and my meal plan for the two weeks. But I, you're getting the Aldi haul today because I didn't have any other videos scheduled. I have had one at home sick with the strep rash which is like scarlet fever and so that has been interesting. So I just got to Aldi's today and I thought I would share my haul with you. Now I went to all these today and Target for a couple home things and I spent a total of $89 at Aldi. And for those of you that are new, we have a $200 every two week grocery budget and that just began to include our consumable goods as well. Before it was just groceries, but we're challenging ourselves. And so I did pretty good today. I spent 89 at all these and then right around $10 at Target. So let me get started here. I got a watermelon. They were on sale for $3.99 and I absolutely love watermelon. It is my favorite fruit ever. I got hamburger buns because we were supposed to um, eat at church tonight, but we are going to be grilling at home because since we have a sick kid, he's feeling so much better, but we're just going to keep him home today. And then we got the whole grain white bread, a loaf of that, and some English muffins. My kids love these with egg or with just peanut butter and jelly for breakfast. I got some baking potatoes, a box of fruit punch juice boxes. Someone commented on another grocery haul I was watching, like, where are all the drinks? And really guys, we drink mostly water. I only buy juice for the kids' snacks or like a special, you know, occasion. And of course we have like lemonade and tea sometimes when it's like a special, you know, summer cookout or something. Then I got some traditional pasta sauce. I'm sorry it's so dark. It's dreary in Pennsylvania again. Um, some pizza sauce, some salsa, and some sliced mushrooms. Some ranch dressing and some vinegar. I got the crunchy taco shells and these shells and cheese. I made like good homemade ricotta filled stuffed shells the other night and the kids were like, oh, we thought we were gonna have mac and cheese shells. So I bought them for them. Um, some sweet butter lettuce. I got two avocados. Those were 49 cents a piece this week, but they didn't look so good, so I only picked up two. I got some bananas and some green pepper. These spreadable cheese wedges are some of my favorite. I love pairing these with some salami and crackers and some veggies and fruit for a quick lunch that I'll take to work with me sometimes. Some jumbo flaky biscuits, natural peanut butter, some goldfish, our favorite oat and flax oatmeal, these crackers. Oh my word. If you have not tried these crackers, try them. They taste like when you go to a fancy restaurant and you get that bread that you dip in the um, oil. That's what these taste like. So try them if you haven't. So, so good. Some butter. I got some hard salami and some string cheese. Grape tomatoes, blueberries. Those are a bigger, it's like a nice size container and they were $1.99. A block of sharp cheddar cheese, a block of mozzarella cheese, some strawberries. This roasted potatoes and green beans, really, really good in the rosemary butter sauce. I love to throw this on the grill in like a foil pouch alongside some chicken. It's so delicious. Okay, mom treat alert. These are amazing. If you have never tried them and you are a fan of coconut, try them. I was so excited that they're back at my Aldi's. They're kind of pricey for four bars. I think it's like $2.99, but you know me and my mom treats. I have to have something. I got the chocolate crunch bars for the kids. We got the beef burgers again. Like I said, we're super busy the next two weeks with just preschool graduation, field trips, and then we're leaving for our Washington DC trip. So quick dinners are the name of the game and these burgers are really quick and easy. 
some French toast sticks for the kids' lunch breakfast. Breakfast. Um, some pepperoni, some peanut butter filled cookies, some peanut butter crackers. I must have been in a peanut butter mood today. Mini muffins, two things of the apple cinnamon squeezable pouches, some popcorn, pretzel slims, and tortilla chips, and some 100 calorie whole almonds. Like I said, I bought a couple of things, one of the apple sauces, and these are probably going to go on our trip with us, but I thought I would just, you know, pick them up because I was there and I saw them. Milk, and let me show you my receipt. This is my Aldi receipt, and as you can see, I spent $89.74. I can never remember my bags. Ever since I got my van, I don't have bags in there anymore, and I'm always forgetting my bags. So, 53 items, $89.74, and let me show you what I got for Target for our household items. So I got a few household items at Target. I got some fabric softener. We were completely out. I got the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. You guys know I love that. And I got the pink grapefruit this time. I normally get the apple, but now that it's summer, I'm gonna get the pink grapefruit. I actually like all of them, except for the bamboo one. Oh no, that one was not so good. It did not smell good. Then I got the Glass and Surface Cleaner in the mint. I'm really trying to find something that works good for my stainless steel dishwasher. I'm not sure that's gonna work, but I thought it was interesting. I've never used it before, and so I will see how I like it. And then I got some kids' toothpaste in the Aqua Fresh Cavity Protection in the bubble gum. Now, there are so many better toothpastes out there. I work at a dental office, so I know, but my little guy is so sensitive to like mint and any kind of flavoring in toothpaste, and he just won't use it. So I got that because that's what he will use. And I spent a total of $20.44, but I got $5 of lip glosses for our family reunion gift bags. I'm sure I will talk more about that in another video. And I also got myself a shirt that was $5.38. So about $10 on household items and $89 at Aldi's, so $99. So I have $100 left for Trader Joe's and for the rest of my groceries. All right, guys, so that's all for today. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Look for my Trader Joe's haul with my meal plan in the next day or so. And if you guys haven't yet, go over to the 500 subscriber video and comment for your chance to win a pair of LuLaRoe leggings. I will try and like put an eye in the sky or look in the description box for that video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.